All right, good afternoon. My name is Aaron Stapleton. I'm here today to talk to you about the diesel engine and how it's a misunderstood monster of efficiency. All right. This is, uh, this is my truck in the local paper, uh, according to uh, Maui Now, which uh, is the local paper. And uh, the person that drew that, his name is Ron Pitts. He's a local artist. Um, this is the way my truck used to work, look before I bought it. It looked like that for a couple weeks. It had a big sticker in the back that said Prius repellent and a couple of stacks sitting out the back and uh, that was kind of the impression of the truck on the island but I want to clear up some of that mystique and that mystery and and show that not everybody that has a diesel truck has that on there. All right uh, my current truck both of them sitting right there the one on the left is uh, affectionately named Mater and the one on the right is affectionately named White Lightning by my four-year-old. And uh, by the time the, we finish up this PowerPoint, you should know uh, which one of those is actually more fuel efficient and better for the environment in the long run than the other. Can, we guess, Can you hold your questions till, till the end of the speech? All right. All right, so uh, diesel has a bad reputation. And uh, you know, I grew up in Northern Wisconsin. Anybody grew up in a cold, cold climate? Yeah, what happens when they start a they start a diesel in the middle of the start a diesel in the middle of the winter. It won't start you. It won't start or it smokes really bad. I remember it was about this time of year, was, I was about five years old and I was standing outside of a Kmart at seven o'clock in the morning and there was this big huge cloud of smoke and I could hear this clattering. I thought Kmart was on fire and I thought that I wasn't gonna have any presents for Christmas. And uh, what it actually was was a an early nineteen eighties VW rabbit that wasn't plugged in overnight and it started and it had, when they started it, it smoked out the entire parking lot because the diesel smoke was uh, was so bad. That was kind of my first impression of the, the diesel engine and uh, kind of one of, the, uh, one of the first ways that I thought about the diesel engine. So because it has a bad reputation, uh, it's been targeted by the Environmental Protection Agency and it's been targeted by CARB. All right, CARB is a California Air Resource Board and uh, since the mid 1980s, uh, the EPA has actually reduced diesel emissions by 80%. Uh, and according to the Carb Resource Board, by 2023, you're not going to be allowed to have a diesel engine on a vehicle in California that's greater than 13 years old. So that vehicle actually had to be uh, built four years ago in 2010 to yeah. be uh, to be efficient or be be allowed in California by 2023. And all your vehicles have to have gasoline emissions uh, that are greater than 54.5 miles per gallon. Who in the audience has a vehicle that has emissions greater than 54.5 miles per gallon at this point? Probably nobody, right? All right, so actually diesel engines are a lot more efficient than their, than their gasoline counterparts. According to Slate.com, gasoline engines are 11% more efficient than their, or sorry, diesel, engines are 11% more efficient than their, their gasoline counterpart per cubic inch. And actually they produce less greenhouse gas emissions. You may see more black soot, you may see a little bit more smoke, but because that diesel exhaust is a little bit heavier, it drops down to the ground and doesn't go into the air like gasoline emissions. All right, and uh, they're actually 40%, they get 40% more miles per gallon than their gasoline counterparts as well. Uh, it doesn't really make sense with that 11% number, but uh, it's a fact that I found based on EPA research. All right, and people, people are just plain old every day. The third reason is people are just plain old every day don't like diesels because they're loud. All right, not everybody has a diesel that has stacks hanging out the back of it like that. Uh, you don't have to have a vehicle that has stacks hanging out of it the back of it. In fact, after I bought the vehicle, I dropped it down to a two and a half inch exhaust and put a normal muffler on there. And actually, it's about the same level of volume as my 2014 Chevy that I have parked right next to it. Uh, the Mercedes Blue Tech vehicles are actually quiet than their gasoline engines, according to their website. And uh, they're, uh, they're less noisy in some cases than even some of the bigger engines. All right, people just don't plain old, don't like to follow the rule, all right? Follow rules, and uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. Not every truck needs to have a, a four inch exhaust stack coming out the back. All right, and diesels are gonna make less trash. All right, why are diesels gonna make less trash in the long run? Diesels last two to three more times longer if they're 
maintained properly than their gasoline counterparts. That means that I'm gonna have three less diesel trucks than I'm gonna have gasoline trucks in the long run. Why is that? Because diesel trucks put out a lot of torque. They create that, and because they put out a lot of torque, they can't be built a lot of the time from aluminum. They have to be built from steel, and steel lasts a little bit longer than, than aluminum, right? So uh, they're gonna last a little bit longer and you'll be able to keep them around. That means less trash in the junkyards. That means less trash in the landfills. So long run diesels are actually more uh, trash efficient uh, than their gasoline counterparts. All right, so we're gonna go back to this picture and uh, talk a little bit more about, we're gonna conclude and talk a little bit more, but while I'm, while I'm uh, going over some of the things we talked about today, I want you to think about which one of these is more efficient. All right, so diesel has a bad reputation as being targeted by the government. Diesel engines are more fuel efficient and they're actually better for the environment. People dislike diesels because they can be louder, but not all of them need to be. And people don't like to follow the rules uh, and keep them quiet like they need to. And diesels make less trash. All right, so which one of these vehicles do you think is actually more fuel efficient right now based on the actual driving? My 1986 Ford F-250, or my 2014 Chevrolet Silverado. Anybody got an idea? I would guess the Silverado. The Silverado? All right, no, actually the 86 F-250 gets 19 miles per gallon, and my truck on average, according to the fuel meter, gets about 16 to 18 miles per gallon. It actually drops down from eight cylinders to four cylinders when I'm driving on the highway. So don't judge a book by its cover, and uh, when you guys buy your next vehicle, you might want to think about getting a diesel vehicle to help out the environment. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys.